This lesson is going to cover ledger lines for the bass clef. If you are a treble clef instrument, you need to watch the other video that's for treble clef. So bass clef, put your first and last name, put your instrument right there. The only vocabulary word that you have for this lesson is ledger lines, but I do want you to notice how it's spelled. L-E-D-G-E-R. L-E-D. G E R ledger lines. They are small, a small line placed above or below the staff. Okay, and it's there to extend range. It's there to make the instruments be able to play more different notes. Okay, it's there so that you can have a bigger range, meaning more note options. Okay, or like on a piano, you wouldn't be able to fit all the notes on a piano just on the staff. You have to be able to go above and below. All right, so a uh, reminder from last week or last lesson, as you go up the staff, the musical alphabet goes forwards. Okay, as you're going up, it goes forwards. As you go down the staff, the musical alphabet goes backwards. This continues with ledger lines and below the staff, above and below the staff. That's the reason that it's very important that you don't just memorize like all cows eat grass. You've got to understand the way the musical alphabet works because then ledger lines are super, super easy. Okay, so I'm going to draw a staff here. Let's talk about ledger lines going up. So our top line is A on the bass clef. Ground balls don't fly away. Okay, or you can think about your alphabet. We know this line is going to be F because of the bass clef. F, G, A, however you want to get there. But the top line is going to be A. Okay, so as you're going up, you're drawing your notes in. You've got space, I'm sorry, line, space, line, space, line. So if you have a note on this line, it's an A. The next note going up would be on a space. So it would be between this line and the next line, which doesn't exist, but that's where that space would be. The next note then would be an, a B because it is the next note in the alphabet. The next one, we're gonna draw a little ledger line, just a little small line that kind of floats above the staff. And after B is C, A, B, C. We're just doing our alphabet going up. Then if we want a note higher than that, we would leave the line. We would put this note above it on the space because it's between this line and the next one that we haven't drawn. We don't need the next line there. We know if it's right there, it's on a space. There's no line going through it. And that's a D. Two lines up above. That would be called the second ledger line above the staff is an E. Okay. And that's what you have right here on your paper. Okay, all right, now I'm also gonna draw, just as a reminder, A, B, C, D, the musical alphabet, and remember it just repeats over and over and over as you go. So as you're going up the staff, it goes forward, so that's easy. Now, coming down, it's still easy. We just have to be able to think backwards, and we're not as used to thinking backwards on our staff, I mean, on our alphabet, so you just have to think a little bit more. So the bottom line, remember, is G, for ground balls don't fly away, G. So this is a G. So the next note going down the alphabet, we have to go backwards, would be F. So that space right there is F. Then we need a line, because we're out of lines. So we're gonna go backwards, and that's gonna be an E on the first ledger line below the staff. Then we're gonna put one on the space. That's gonna be a D, because D comes before E in the alphabet. We're going backwards. Two below. That is a C, and one more, that is a B, okay? All right, so again, that's what this is here. I just like to do it one at a time to show you. It's just, you're just saying the alphabet backwards, saying the alphabet forwards, okay? All right, so now let's do some practice. So the you're going to write the name of the note below the staff so these right here are going up above the staff so you're going to be thinking alphabet forward it's these right here i recommend you try to do this without looking at the answers to see if you're getting it okay so here these are kind of the answers there for you you can check yourself but try to not look at these while you're figuring it out so we know that the top line on the base clef is an a so this right here is an a so the note right above it is going to be the next note in the alphabet, which is then a B. Okay, and then this one right here is going to be one note farther. It's, it's up on the next line, so it's going to be a C. Okay, all right, go ahead and pause the video. I want you to finish those on your own. 
Okay, let's check and see how you did. You can also be checking up here. That's gonna be a D, an E, a B, an E, a D, and a C, okay? And again, I, I don't have to count up. I just know the name of the note by looking at it, and eventually you'll get there. But in the meantime, you can count up, and then you can check your answers, okay? So now let's do the same thing going down, knowing that we're gonna have to think backwards in the alphabet. It's a little bit trickier. You might want to, and it's, it's only trickier for now because you haven't done it a lot. It's not gonna be trickier once you get really good at saying your alphabet backwards. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, so the reason I wrote this down here is so that you can go backwards and see what you're doing. Sometimes that's helpful. So what I mean by that is, this bottom line is G for ground balls don't fall, fly away. So we're gonna actually, I should put a G here. Okay, so we're gonna go down a note. So from G, the note below G is F because I'm going backwards in my alphabet, okay? Then from F going down, this line is E. Okay, make sure you don't skip any lines or spaces. That's the other trick. Okay, then this would be D, the space, and then the line would be C. You can also just do it with your pencil once you get a little more comfortable, and you can think, okay, G before G is F, before F is E, and you don't necessarily have to write the notes in. Okay, all of this is just practice until you get really, really fast, okay? All right, go and pause the video and finish that out. All right, so this one then would be D, this would be B, E, F, D, and C. The link to the next lesson in this video series can be found in the description below.